That's a great idea. Well, there are some other students as well looking to make a difference in a group called Students Against Coronavirus, a volunteer network founded at the University of Oxford here in the UK. They've now spread to 12 cities across Europe. So let's speak to one of the group's founders, Frederick Wils von Reiterdank, who joins us now. Really good to have you with us. Uh, how did you come up with this idea? Um, so thank you for having me. We started with this idea because we were having trouble getting groceries to our grandmother in the Netherlands. She lives in a very remote area. And uh, I was on the phone with my sister, Irina, who is, uh, who's been the medical brain behind this entire operation. And I told her, well, why don't we start this thing together? Um, and uh, so it's been going quite well since launching seven days ago. We're in nine different countries. Uh, our hygiene guidelines, which is one of our key aspects that we're taking extremely seriously, have been shared with over 100 national uh, charities. And currently we're working with some pretty big parties to try and launch a some software that could hopefully be useful to different community groups across the UK. So Frederick, what is it exactly that you're doing an app? So we don't exactly have an app. What we're building right now is an operations platform. Um, the, this would hopefully make it easier for all the different community groups around the UK to just upload all their volunteers and the people that need help and then easily match between the two. Um, the idea here is that everybody can go into this platform and then the government instances will have access to all of this data and they can much more easily and in a streamlined way uh, put in bulk requests for help. So let's say they wanted to get everybody with a DBS check within a 10 kilometer radius of a certain location under the age of 30, they could easily, e easily do that through the click of a button and uh, simply send a request out to everyone. And we've been working very close with Oxfordshire All In and also with Oxfordshire County and DeepMob has been a huge help. And all the technology has been developed by Carta, which, is, uh, which has been helping us uh, build this platform. I mean, it's such a great idea and it makes perfect sense. What sort of yeah. reaction have you had from other people and from other students around the world? Yeah. Uh, are you talking about the initiative or about the software? No, the initiative, both actually are, gra are great. But the initiative, I know, is being picked up by many others. Yeah, it's amazing. And right now we're urging everybody around the world to do something in their own uh, city town. So if you want to join, go to studentsagainstcorona.co.uk and send us an email and we can get you up and running within a few hours. That's really what we're trying to do is uh, get everybody involved and have everybody start their own hub. And we've had we have hubs going all the way from California to Delhi now, and especially in countries like Delhi, where the where it's been hit even a lot harder. And I was on the phone with our co-founder there, Tansher, and he was telling me about how difficult it was for him to get money to his drivers because he has a legit logistics company. And the situation is a lot worse there. And it makes us really realize how good we have it in these countries, even though we're in the lockdown phase right now. And very briefly, Frederick, people of your age around the world, particularly young men, have been criticized for not staying inside. Have you and all your friends been stuck inside the past few days, you observing the rules? <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah, I've literally been in this chair for the last four days. <laughs> uh, as you can see behind me, I have a stockpile of uh, fast food that I haven't had time to wake up. And we're working 110 hours a week to uh, get this off the ground all remotely. Well, you should be incredibly proud of yourself. It's a fantastic initiative. And thanks for taking Thank the you. time to explain it to us. Well done, Frederick. Thank you. All right.